All we want for Christmas, 18 reasons to be cheerfully, or hopelessly, optimistic in 2018 inches. All we want for Christmas, 18 reasons to be cheerfully, or hopelessly, optimistic in 2018. Can Sonny Bill Williams and the All Blacks beat England at Twickenham in 2018? Ending Eddie Jones smirking. Gold medals on the Gold Coast and playoffs places for the Warriors. And the Blues are among the stuff sports team more fanciful festive season wishes for 2018. 1. All Blacks to batter England at Twickenham. 2. No one likes a gloating Aussie, so the Kiwi Nation will be willing Steve Hansen's. Men to wipe the smile off Eddie Jones dial next November and score an important psychological boost ahead of the 2019 Rugby World Cup. 2. Nick Willis to end his career with another Commonwealth Games gold medal. 12 years after he burst onto the world scene in Melbourne at the 2006 Com Games, Willis must be favourite for the Gold Coast gold. Two Olympic Games medals and two Commonwealth Games titles would cement the lower hut athletes' pantheon place alongside Peter Snell and John Walker. Can the All Blacks wipe the smile from England coach Eddie Jones' face? 3. Serena Williams to return to tennis. Motherhood's a more important gig than Grand Slam tennis. But the women's tennis world isn't the same without its greatest exponent of all time. 4. Tiger Woods to win a major. Everyone loves a good comeback and a redemption tale too. Forget Woods' foibles off the course. He was once a golfing genius. A major victory in 2018 10 years after his last, the 2008 US Open, would only enhance the 41-year-old's legend. Nick Willis with his Rio Olympics bronze medal. Five. Brendan Hartley to get a decent car and content. A Kiwi doing well on the Formula One circuit. Would be a massive shot in the arm for motorsport, the sleeping giant of New Zealand sport. 6. Lydia Ko finds old mojo. The 20-year-old Aucklander's hardly in the poor house, she still won one New Zealand dollar. 5 million in 2017 to take her career earnings to $12. 1 million. But Koss slipped to 9th in the world rankings behind some bigger hitting rivals. That won't be good enough for the former world number one, Oh, look for compensate for a lack of length of the tee with heavy approach play and precision putting. 7. Silver Ferns strike gold on the Gold Coast. The Kiwi netballers have lost the last three World Cup finals. but have a decent recent record at the Commonwealth Games with back-to-back -back golds at Melbourne and Delhi. Playing in their own comp hasn't made the Ferns task any easier, 
But have the diamonds lost some of their old sheen? The tennis world is missing Serena Williams during her motherhood sabbatical. 8. Concussion-free seasons for Ben Smith and Dane Coles. Head injuries continue to be rugby's blight so the All Blacks. We'll be hoping there are no more knocks to the noggins of two players who remain critical to their chances of a third consecutive World Cup crown. 9 Warriors to sneak into the top 8. No, we haven't been at the Christmas sherry early the glasses simply have full today. The Warriors may not have made the playoffs since 2011, but with Toe Harris in the pack is it too unrealistic to dream of the duck being broken in 2018? Okay, yes, you are probably right. But wouldn't it be a great way to send that great servant Simon Mannering out? 10. Wellington Phoenix avoid the wooden spoon. The Warriors' main rivals for the bubble as QA Sports Christmas turkeys. Need to come back to top Lazarus to avoid the A-League ladle and to give Australians another excuse to question the Kiwi club's existence. Could Tiger Woods win his first golf major in 10 years in 2018? 11. A sensible super rugby draw. Even Santa would struggle to deliver in this department. Sanzar's convoluted calendar. Defies most footy fans' understanding, but the move to more derbies between New Zealand's teams is a step in the right direction. 12. Buden Barrett to really deserve World Player of the Year. How Barrett beat Rico Ian or Sam Whitelock let alone a pride of lions. To this year's gong was one of rugby's more unfathomable mysteries. The Hurricanes hero's maddeningly inconsistent form had. All Blacks fans pining for Dan Carter and his heyday. There remains a lingering feeling Barrett is best at fullback. 13. Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor race to become New Zealand's highest century maker. Both are locked on 17 with the late, great Martin Crow. May the best man win. With just seven tests in 2017, could either gallop through to 20 tons by year's end? Brendan Hartley is looking to consolidate his Formula One future. 14. Not Al V. Federer in every Grand Slam tennis final. Both may be past their exceptional best, but they are still tennis headline acts. Who says Groundhog Day Grand Slam finals would be boring? Some of the greatest duels in world sport have been year-on-year -year duopolis Real Madrid v Barcelona. Silver Ferns netballers v Australia but nothing tops these two returning serve, and volley. 15. West Ham to survive in the English Premier League. Having two Kiwis West Ham's Winston Reid. And Burnley striker Chris Wood in the best league in world sport is great for New Zealand football's profile. 16. 
more international rugby league games. The recent World Cup with Tonga and Fiji's giant killing acts showed Thayer's rugby league life beyond the NRL. More please. QA golfer Lydia Ko will be looking to improve on her world ranking of 9th in 2018. 17, a post-Christmas surge for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Why? Because QA star Steven Adams deserves to be in a post-season team. 18, Blues to qualify for the Super Rugby Playoffs. Whisper it quietly, but the Blues record is as bad as. The Warriors 2011 was their last playoffs appearance. It's long overdue, but could come, at the Chiefs or Highlanders' expense. Tanan Umaga's coaching job may well depend on it. Will Maria Tutaia and the Silver Ferns put the gold into the Gold Coast? All Blacks Vice Captain Ben Smith will be hoping for a medic free season in 2018. Time for the Warriors all too familiar sinking feeling to go with a first playoffs appearance since 2011. There is only one way up for the woeful Wellington Phoenix, who are lucky the A-League is a closed shop. Crusaders coach Scott Robertson won the title in his first season despite a Super Rugby format that would have flummoxed the best mathematical minds. Buden Barrett was World Rugby Player of the Year in 2017, but can do better next year. Will Kane Williamson, left, or Ross Taylor become New Zealand cricket's outright record holder for test centuries? Swiss great Roger Federer and Spanish rival Rafael Nadal remain tennis greatest draw cards. Winston Reed's West Ham need to win the relegation battle to stay in the EPL alongside Chris Woods Burnley. Stephen Adams Oklahoma City Thunder need to rally to make the 2018 NBA playoffs. Will Blues coach Tanan Umaga be smiling next season?